Hello friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learnt about the volume of cube. Today, in this video, we will see some interesting examples based on this. Thomas, why have you called me to this warehouse today? Manas, my father wants to store 125 cubic boxes here for his business. Father has asked me to find the dimensions of those boxes. I have been trying since long, but I have not been able to find it. Could you help me? Absolutely! But not me. Mathematics can help you. That means... It's math time! It's math time! Thomas, can you tell me what are the dimensions of this cuboid warehouse? The length, width and height of the warehouse are 40 meters, 20 meters and 10 meters respectively. Look Thomas, this warehouse is a cuboid. Therefore, the total volume of the cubic boxes we can keep in it will be equal to the volume of this warehouse. Okay, this is the formula for the volume of the cuboid where L, B and H are the length, width and height of the cuboid respectively. Let me write down the length, width and height of this cuboid warehouse in it and quickly find its volume. Look Manas, the volume of the warehouse is 8000 cubic meters. Yes, your father has to keep 125 cubic boxes in this warehouse. And like I told you earlier, the volume of this warehouse is equal to the total volume of all these cubic boxes. Therefore, to find the volume of a cubic box, we only have to divide the volume of the warehouse by 125. In this way, the volume of a box is 8000 divided by 125, that is 64 cubic meters. Hey wow! Now, it has become very easy. We know the volume of a cubic box. And we also know that the volume of a cube is equal to L cube, where L is length of any side of the cube. Now, we just have to solve it by writing the volume of a box here instead of the volume of the cube. And then, we will know the length of the sides of the cubic box. The sides of the cubic boxes are 4 meters long. Thanks Manas for helping me. Now, let's go back to our world. I also have to tell my father the dimensions of the boxes so that he can get the boxes made. With this example, we have seen how our daily life problems based on the volume of the cube can be solved. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to this.